Hello friends. Today we will delve into a topic that many of us are curious about and eager to be informed on. The Pitbull Terrier breed and the issue of laboratory breeding. This topic raises questions in the minds of many people, emphasizing the importance of obtaining accurate information. Firstly, understanding what the Pitbull Terrier breed is and the nature of this type of dog is crucial. These dogs are known for their energetic, intelligent and loyal characteristics. However, in recent years, concerns and misinformation have arisen regarding the laboratory breeding of this breed. But first, let's address the fundamental concepts that will help us grasp this topic. Are you ready? Well then, let's dive into this important subject together, without compromising the coherence of understanding. The Pitbull Terrier breed is generally a dog breed known for its strong, energetic and intelligent nature. Physically, they are recognized for their robust muscle structure, short fur and powerful jaw. However, each individual Pitbull is unique and generalizations should be avoided. As for their characteristic features, Pitbull Terriers are often affectionate and loyal animals. They tend to show loyalty to their owners and can get along well with children. However, despite these traits, proper training and socialization are essential. With good training, these dogs can become well-behaved, obedient and lovable companions. Due to their high energy levels, they require regular exercise. When trained to fit an active lifestyle, they can have a playful and lively spirit. Additionally, Pitbull Terriers are known for their intelligence, so mental stimulation is also important. However, when Pitbull Terriers are bred and trained maliciously or subjected to mistreatment, they may exhibit aggressive behavior. Therefore, individuals considering adopting this breed should provide a good training program and a safe environment. The origin of the Pitbull Terrier breed dates back to the mid-19th century, initially bred in England for bull baiting. However, there is no solid information supporting the notion that this breed emerged through laboratory breeding. Generally, it is known that pit bull terriers were primarily bred for bull baiting, with characteristics such as endurance and strength being prominent. There are several reasons why pit bull terriers have a notorious reputation. Firstly, their historical use in dogfighting, which often raises ethical and legal concerns. Bull baiting and dogfighting have been deemed inhumane and illegal activities, contributing to a negative perception of dog breeds involved in such activities. Secondly, media influence and misinformation have played a role in the negative reputation of pit bull terriers. The media is often filled with reports of aggressive dog incidents with pit bull terriers frequently highlighted. However, these reports often reflect situations where dogs become aggressive due to mistreatment or improper training, leading to a misconception that may unfairly generalize all pit bull terriers. The fundamental reasons for the negative reputation of pit bull terriers lie in their history and past misuse. However, with proper training and socialization, these dogs can become loving and loyal companions. Understanding the breed's tainted reputation can help people interact with these dogs more consciously and responsibly. Claims suggesting that the pit bull terrier breed is a result of laboratory breeding generally stem from misunderstandings or lack of information about dog breeds. In reality, pit bull terriers, like other dog breeds, have naturally evolved and been shaped over time through selective breeding. The term pit bull terrier typically encompasses breeds such as the American pit bull terrier, American Staffordshire terrier and Staffordshire bull terrier, which share similar characteristics. These breeds are generally known as strong, energetic and loyal companions among people. However, various rumors can arise due to misconceptions, such as the incorrect perception of these dogs as dangerous and acquiring them improperly. Some individuals may harbor a negative perception of pit bull terriers, 
leading to false claims of them being laboratory bred. However, this assertion is not realistic. Pit bull terriers have been bred for various tasks throughout their history, such as hunting, farming and guarding, but they have not been artificially produced in laboratory settings. As a responsible dog owner, it is essential to ensure that any breed is raised in a healthy and ethical manner. Acquiring a dog from registered and reputable breeders can better guarantee your dog's genetic health and behavior. Whether any dog breed is considered dangerous or not is closely linked to genetic factors, as well as training, socialization, and the responsibility of the owner. Dangerous behaviors often result from poor training and mistreatment. Therefore, factors that can negatively impact any dog are generally associated with the dog owner. Pitbull terriers may have a negative reputation, especially in the media and society, but this often stems from misunderstandings, generalizations, and inadequate training. Similar problems can occur with other dog breeds when they are poorly raised. One reason Pitbull Terriers particularly stand out is the inclusion of several different breeds under this term, such as the American Pitbull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier and Staffordshire Bull Terrier, all sharing similar characteristics. These breeds are generally known for being strong, energetic and loyal. However, issues can arise when these traits are acquired improperly or combined with inadequate training. Restrictions or bans on specific dog breeds may exist in many countries or regions. However, breed-specific legislation often relies on generalizations rather than focusing on the individual behavior of dogs and the responsibility of owners. Restrictions are typically based on concerns related to public safety, dog attacks and other factors. Nevertheless, such regulation should be supported by a more effective approach that emphasizes the responsibilities of dog owners rather than targeting specific breeds. Today, we tried to correct a common misconception about pit bull terriers. Pit bull terriers are not laboratory dogs. Although some dog breeds are negatively portrayed in the media, what we need to remember is that a dog's behavior is often shaped by its owners. We made an effort to dispel misunderstandings about pit bull terriers and to free dog breeds from generalizations by providing as much information as we could. I hope this video has helped you gain more understanding and knowledge about dogs and their world. If you enjoyed our video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Join us to discover more exciting content in the future.